Undecorating can be just as fun as decorating to me. So that's exactly what we're going to do in today's video. We are going to undecorate for the winter months and decorate for spring and summer together. Hi everyone, it's Melanie and welcome back to Living Luxuriously for Less, where we celebrate, decorate, and enjoy everyday life for less. So if you remember this video, this is our home tour for Christmas and winter. It was absolutely gorgeous. My husband wanted the winter wonderland theme, but now he is so over that theme and it's ready for, you know, color to be in our home again. So we're going to undecorate the walls and switch out some wall paintings and um, some wall hangings and pillows and rugs. I mean, the whole ordeal. So if you guys missed yesterday's video, we um, took everything down on yesterday and we cleaned um, the entire living room so I will link that video for you to go back and see it and then today we're going to be replacing our neutral uh, color palette that we had in our home for the winter months with our bright color palette that we will have for the spring and summer for this year so I'm super excited to be you know undecorating and decorating our home with you guys this is very new for us so let's hop right in First time in years Got my feet crossed the border From a land of tears Now that that accent table is all cleaned I'm now looking for the remote tray Like this is a little tray that we keep All of our remote controls in um, It just kind of keeps everything kind of organized But I cannot remember where I put it because it's actually like a blue color and it did not match our winter theme so I'm just going to go ahead and decorate the um, accent table using some books I love decorating with books you guys let me know if you love to decorate with books you would be amazed at what you can find once you pull that cover off the book and so I'm going to just use some books and some faux plants on this accent um, on this accent table and then once I find a remote tray we will put that in place next up I am going to hang our curtains I had these curtains custom made um, several years ago and so we're going to put those back in place they are the pin tucked um, curtains and I hang them on little hooks and um, I think I use white for the winter. I love those curtains. I wanna do something custom with them, but I just can't decide exactly what I want to do. So uh, in the meantime, I just left them the length that they were, but I am gonna have them cut off and maybe a neutral color sewn on to the bottom or maybe just left white, who knows? But at any rate, I have both sets of curtains up now and we're going to move on to the uh, next window seal this time I'm going to actually do both of them together the first time I did them the opposite way which took a little bit more work but this time I'm going to put them both up at the same time and it was a, definitely a time saver but these curtains are very very heavy so we're going to put them on either side of the window kind of to flank either side and I just love the way that it kind of frames out our room and just brings that brightness and color that we love into every uh, aspect of our living room area. So next up, I am going to go ahead and clean off the TV screen and kind of get the curtains, you know, um, where they are laying appropriately to the floor and then put our floral uh, centerpieces in place. Now this was made several years ago by an interior decorator um, that did them for us and they still look 
absolutely amazing. They are bending just a little, so I'm trying to just kind of turn them around to reshape them, but overall they have held up very well um, over the past few years. And we're gonna keep, you know, if it's not broken, we're not gonna fix it. So we're just gonna go ahead and put those on either side of our mantle. Now looking at our mantle here, I definitely want it to get a fresh coat of paint. I just can't decide what color I want to paint it. I'm pretty sure I shared this with you guys during the Christmas home tour, but one of the tips and tricks that I shared in that video was like actually using fabric in the frame um, instead of like having to buy artwork. Fabric is a very, very, you know, inexpensive way to uh, decorate your home. And again, this is a, a tip that I picked up from an interior decorator that decorated our home in the beginning. And so when Christmas time, you know, approached, these bright colors certainly did not match our winter wonderland theme. So I went and bought four pieces of, two pieces of quarter fabric from Joann's. And then for the other two pieces of fabric, I actually used napkins that were from my event planning collection, my home entertaining um, collection. So we're gonna get all four of the photos on the wall back in place. And then I'm going to take the mirrored lamps back to our bedroom and then bring the um, antique lamps from our bedroom uh, back to the living room. So yeah, so I'm gonna fold up all those pieces and put them away um, for future use. So that is a tip that can definitely help you guys in budgeting and decorating uh, luxuriously for less. And then once I get all the pieces folded up, I'm going to store them away in their rightful place. Places. So I have a small little collection of different types of fabric. So whenever I get ready to change my living room around again, I'm able to do that. Now the lamps that were here, we moved them back to the bedroom for Christmas and then we moved the mirrored lamps to the living room for Christmas. So I'm just going to put these lamps back in place. I love these. I got these at a local um, home decor boutique and I just love like the fact that they were like kind of cracking and antique around the base and it just gave the lamp so much character. Now this little picture here, you guys, all four of these frames are hung at the right place, but like one of the frames are smaller. So it is a mess trying to keep it, you know, straight. So you'll see me several times throughout this entire process, like fix it. So um, my friend Catherine over at Amateur Decorating Like a Pro gave me a tip for fixing it. And I'm going to try that tip. So hopefully you guys will see in an upcoming video whether or not that tip work so we're gonna get all the furniture back in place and now it is time for the rug i got this rug a couple of years ago at home goods um i think i paid 2.99 for it but online it retails for like 1500 1600 so it was definitely a steal and that's another tip i want to give you guys when you're decorating your home don't try to do everything like all at once like if you can find pieces that you absolutely love it can bring so much you know character to your space and it makes your space look you know more curated and collected than you know just buying it from like a rooms to go uh so to speak not anything against them but what i'm saying is that it gives your your room you know that designer feel when you take your time and and find those pieces that you love and so i actually went without a rug for maybe four or five years and one day i was not even looking for a rug and i saw it at home goods but the ends you know because i had it rolled up they got a little curl so um, i'm gonna just put books on them to flatten them back out so you'll see me do that and then i'm going to clean off the glass table again now i had some apothecary jars on this table for years but i do want to give my table a refresh so in my next video i will share with you how i decorated um, the coffee table and our um, kitchen table for summer and spring. So I didn't do an uh, Easter or spring type tablescape because I just honestly wasn't feeling it this year. It's like every year things get earlier and earlier and earlier and I'm just not in that race. Like I'm done with that. You guys have to see my spiel on that from the video that I posted yesterday called um, 
you know, I'm not perfect. I kind of address that as well. So I just want to do things like as I feel them. I don't want to feel pressured. I want it to be very natural and very organic for me and for my lifestyle. And I want to continue to enjoy what I share with you guys here on um, on this channel, on our on our platform at Living Luxuriously for Less. So next up, I'm putting all of the pillows in place on the sofa as well as the throw. And you'll see me kind of back up and look at it because you know, as you're decorating, it's one thing when you're directly on it, but when you step back and take a look, you can see things from different angles and you can make the preparations that you need, you know, as necessary. So, um, in terms of my fireplace, if you guys can think of a good color for my fireplace, I was thinking maybe like a balanced beige or something like that. But if you guys can think of a better color, definitely comment that down below and let me know who makes it. If it's uh, Sharon Williams or if it's uh, Bear or whatever the creator of that or brand of that paint is, feel free to leave it down in the comments below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this refresh and undecorating and decorating with me. I would love to know what kind of content you guys would like to see uh, here on this channel in terms of home decor, event planning, whatever other ideas you have. I will be back with another five. You guys seem to be enjoying that. So I will be definitely be sharing that more. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, it's Melanie from Living Luxuriously for Less. And don't forget to click that subscribe button.